Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, we talk about the subject of comic purchases, comic buys, and uh, what dawned on me a little bit is getting all of these uh, mail messages, uh, getting all of the communication about, I said that in the old man, nerdiest way humanly possible, getting all of the emails that I print off and then circle with my highlighter and read carefully in front of my Studebaker is, uh, sorry, uh, fishing around for old man words. I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, I, <laughs> the uh, what dawned on me is that there's so many questions about comic sales, comic purchases. There's clearly an interest there, but there's also a clear gap and a, and a whole and a problem because we have so many questions about something that actually has definitive, you know, obvious answers. It's just that we've obscured so many things from you know the how many comic shops are, how many comics are being sold, what the true popularity of the thing is. And, and in many ways, again, that's not terribly unusual. There's lots of industries out there that hide their numbers or, or, you know, it's not high. They just don't disclose them. That's not terribly weird. What is weird is that in addition to hiding it, we get such blatantly false kind of lies and manipulation about those numbers. That's the part that, that people can't wrap their head around. In a time when we see stores closing, we see you know, comics, uh, comic shops cutting their orders. We have lots of retailers saying that, you know, hey, things aren't going great. We'll get a news article that is, is, you know, is written to refute that because somehow saying sales aren't great equals you're part of the alt-right. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how we got there, but that, there you go. Um, it's, well, here's how we got there. We got there because, uh, people, uh, basically, suggested that the reason for the uh, fading sales was because of left wing, you know, and diversity and those kinds of things that were going on in the comics. That's, they gave a reason for the falling sales. And because they gave that reason, now if you say sales aren't good, that you're, you're forever going to be part of that group. Never mind if, I mean, and not that I'm, I'll play my tiny violin here. Um, never mind the fact that you're, uh, if you talk about, hey, the distribution model's fucked up. Hey, there were too much of a reliance on variant covers. Hey, you know, people aren't paid enough, sometimes not paid at all. Hey, comics are being canceled all over the place uh, from the independents and, you know, Aftershock goes bankrupt. And I mean, like, I, hey, these aren't good signs. Even if you say all those things, and you'll notice none of those things had anything to do with gender or race or sexuality or any of that kind of stuff. Doesn't matter. You're still a uh, turf, bigot, blah, 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 blah. You're still all of those things. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that is the fucked up part right there. Uh, but regardless, um, it, it, when people come to refute the claims that things aren't doing well, they, it, it, if they just said, you know what, things aren't that bad. Actually, sales are okay. They're, they're more stable than you think. Money's coming from different sources. People are doing all right. They don't, they don't write an article like that. If they did, I think, you know, it'd be harder for people to argue with it. But instead they write, they, they go the extra mile. Actually, not only are things not bad, they're better than they have ever been in the entire history of comics ever. It's, it's, uh, it's like, we're not just going to refute this argument. We're going to gaslight you so hard. I don't know what the conclusion of that sentence is. We're going to gaslight you hard. That's right. I was going to come up with something involving protein, pro protein, uh, <laughs> propane, but then I'm right back into uh, old man talk. So there, there you have it. Anyway, um, so but here, here, so here's a mail asking about sales, and it says, "Are more people buying comics? Can we know?" Hey, Perch. I often hear you discuss comic sales and how, like, hey, all the money from the movies, but the current Superman series isn't selling tons. But do we have any info on how many new comic customers have been driven to back issues? Do you think that number has bumped? I know a few people who don't buy new comics because they either don't have the patience, they have assumptions that the content is woke, or they just don't see them as worth the cover price. Is this something we can even ascertain? Um, yeah, not sort of. Well, and we'll get into it, but the mail's not quite done. We got also. Can you give my free Substack a shout out? You can follow here to learn about my upcoming campaign, The Unbreakable Argonauts. Consider this a Justice League comic for fans of Pulp. I hope to go live soon and would humbly appreciate a subscription from you and your followers. Well, I'll definitely give you a subscription. Link is in the description of the video. Uh, so go, go check that out. We got Ashley's Substack. 
Uh, sounds like a comic's being promoted there. Go check out a comic creator who is uh, looking to put together his own book and has been working at this for a little bit of time and is, uh, seems like a pretty solid guy with a good head on his shoulders. So, God, I'm just, I'm, I'm leaning hard into old man vibe here. But, uh, but anyway, go, go sub to uh, Ashley Substack. Anyway, um, so can, can we determine some of these sales? Well, yes, uh, but maybe not precisely. So first off, I'm going to give you my hypothesis. My hypothesis here is that uh, no, the movies haven't substantially bumped comic sales with the exception of one area, and that's trades. So the reason I say that, and is that, and, and by the way, those trades are not being bought through a comic shop. They're largely being bought through Amazon and occasionally Barnes and Noble and occasionally like Target and Walmart, but primarily Amazon. And there's a couple of reasons I say this, the biggest of which is that when a movie comes out and it doesn't happen a lot, but when uh, the com- when the company, when Marvel or DC has some trade paperbacks, some things available on Amazon, uh, whether they're new or whether they're old, you see a distinct spike in sales. And the hypothesis I'm making here is a lot of those sales are being driven by new comic readers or people who are unfamiliar with the product, as opposed to comic collectors, long-term readers. Because generally speaking, I think uh, the, the theory I have, I'm just thinking about customer buying behavior, what I've seen in my own life, is that if, um, if a comic book customer, collector, has not been collecting, say, Black Adam, and hears that there's a Black Adam movie coming out, that comic customer will typically buy the Black Adam books before the movie. You'll see the sales bump from people like that prior to the film coming out. And part of that's because there's this kind of natural behavior from comic collectors and customers to want to know what's going to happen. So they want to read up on that. They know where to go to find it. And, you know, they're going to they're going to get into it early. Uh, there's also that collector mentality of somebody going, well, I'm going to buy in early because the books are kind of going to they're going to sell out. So I need to buy before the big rush comes. This is a very comic collector mentality. The sales you see after the movie comes out, those are the new people who are coming into the picture who watched the movie, heard about the movie, and said, hey, there's a comic book for this. I think I'll go check it out. And if you look at the sales on Amazon and you track them, you track kind of week by week what happens and where the bumps occur, it fits that story pretty well. You see, uh, you basically, you see the, the, the push of comic customers coming in uh, before, you know, you see this little bump before the movie, and you see a much bigger bump after the movie. Now, if you talk to a lot of comic retailers, and I realize this is anecdotal, uh, you typically do not hear about a big flood of people coming in after the movies, with a couple exceptions. When the first Spider-Man Tobey Maguire film came out, there was definitely some, you know, we saw some people in the shop. Uh, The first Avengers with Joss Whedon, we saw some in the shop. Occasionally, you'll see people who get so drawn by the movie, but it's um, from what I have heard and you can see it in the orders that is diminishing so a lot of comic uh, like Marvel and DC will put out one shots or they'll st- launch a new series or they'll do something a new monthly to the direct market um, you know con- connected to the movies that come out the big events and you do not see a corresponding bump in fact those comics typically sell poorly now what does that tell you well it means that people who are coming in well, one of two things. It means people are coming into the shop and either, you know, uh, seeing the comic that in theory is made for them. You know, they go watch, you know, Ant-Man and they come into the comic shop and they see the Ant-Man comic and they're like, yeah, I, this is not what I want. And they're passing on it. Or more likely, they're not coming into the shop in the first place. That the logical thought to somebody who enjoyed the movie and wants to go read comics is to go to Amazon or go to kind of one of the big box stores and buy it there. Because by and large, the comic shop itself, it isn't, uh, people people don't, uh, they, they're surprised they still exist. And in a lot of cases, a perception of comic shops from, you know, uh, kind of new new people new to the, the business is that those are more for collectors, more for people who are really into it, probably expensive. Some of the stuff goes for a premium price. And they think that because shows like Big Bang Theory and other places have portrayed the comic book shop in that way. So, you know, granted, it's possible that people are watching the movies, coming in, buying a bunch of back issues, and there, there is that business there, but I highly doubt it. I just, I think it's, um, it's really unlikely that that's happening. But that's my take on it. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. 
like and subscribe, of course, and subscribe to Ashley Substack for sure. And thanks for listening.